August 1st marked the official start of practice for high school sports in Ohio. It also marked 19 years since a former Ohio State All-American collapsed and died from heat stroke. So why is water at the center of the current controversy about sports? Here's Chris Rankel. Water, one of the three basic needs in life. Yet for athletes around Ohio, Kentucky and Indiana, that need is left up mostly to minors. Communal water bottles are not allowed based on COVID-19 guidelines from the National Federation of High Schools and all three state athletic associations. Simply put, kids bring their own and there's often no way to refill. That's because in earlier plans, hydration stations were not allowed. Now schools don't know whether they can use the same water source to refill water bottles. Athletic departments tell Local 12 investigates they aren't supplying equipment like a cooler or a water boy and kids are showing up sometimes with a 16 ounce water bottle and that's likely not enough. So when you become dehydrated, uh, what happens is your heart rate starts to go higher because it can't push that blood to the skin and your core temperature thus will also start to elevate uh, at a rate that, you know, um, you're not able to cool as efficiently. The amount of water needed for every athlete depends. It's very individualized uh, for each athlete. The Corey Stringer Institute was created to prevent sudden death in athletes after Corey Stringer, a former Ohio State All-American, died of overheating in August. KSI says the best way for an athlete to tell how much water they need is to weigh themselves before and after every practice and replace about 80% of what was lost. In Mason, the water coolers and bottles are collecting dust. If we use our own water bottles here, the Powerade bottles, then we have to purchase a disinfectant to spray down the bottles occasionally. That's what the OHSAA uh, requires. So the plan for this fall right now in Mason is... Everyone brings their own water bottle. We emailed Lieutenant Governor Husted's office to discuss what is being done to make hydration a priority in August. We still haven't heard word back. In Mason, Chris Rankle, Local 12 News. And the Corey Stringer Institute, which again seeks to prevent sudden death in athletes, told us about several touchless water options. We'll have those options for you at athletesatrisk.com. Well,